I think it's like a trend. I was fortunate or not enough when I started the illustration stuff. It got to the point where whoever got a little bit of talent started to do pen merch or illustration. Then they figured it out that they are not good at it enough or something. And they were like, yeah, making tattoos, awesome. I will probably get more chicks, more money. Well, that's awesome. Then they tried it out and they kind of figured it out like, okay, this is not the easiest profession ever. So I don't really want to put that effort, time and stress into it. So I'm gonna search for something else. Or if I, or if I do it, I do it like on 50%. So I'm really optimistic about the future of tattooing over here or all over the world because who are really passionate about it, they're gonna be passionate about it 20 years later and the rest gonna disappear. So we should uh, focus on the good things, what's actually happening in the business or profession, how you call it, doesn't matter. Then, you know, like just talking shit about each other or whatever. Like we always discuss this and that stuff and someone's work, but just trash talking in general. Uh, how to say, infect the whole profession. And nowadays there are like a lot of people tattooing who should I do that, shouldn't do that. So hopefully after 10 years or something, they, these people are gonna disappear. It's like, you know, nowadays getting a tattoo is also really fashionable. I mean, come on, oh, just in town, in this town, that like, at least a hundred tattoo shops, if I could say that. And we didn't even mention Berlin, where it's like a thousand. And every week a new opens and another closes. <laughs> After making a, a great career and an own shop in three years, uh, can you imagine yourself doing it all of your life? Yep. Yeah. I could imagine that uh, I'm gonna do this. It's just a matter of of my schedule, how I gonna do this. Like I already got plans for the next year, how I gonna reduce a little bit, but not necessarily the amount of tattooing I spend on, on actual tattooing. It's more like, uh, how you call it, uh, how could I express it? Like the amount of tattoos I gonna produce. So I would rather have two customers a week than like four or five, like one customer each day and working on bigger projects. Uh, so that's my aim, to work on like one customer for three days or something, two customers on smaller pieces, for example, on a Friday, weekend off, and one extra day just to focus on to the designing process like producing the sketches. Uh, and what I have in mind, we will see if it works out or not, because thank God, actually, the interest is super high. So I have to split it for the whole year. Is it true you have to, I have to wait for one year if I book now? Now it's, yeah, yeah, one year, but uh, I tried to reduce it because it got to the point where it was like almost two years. And I was like, that's, it's just impossible as a human being because even if I got sick, that's gonna fuck up my whole schedule. And it's not fair towards the customers. And honestly, uh, I was more worried about my customers and the tattoos I produce than worried about or taking care of myself. And at the age of 27, I don't really want to burn out or how you call that, like, 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 um, my health is still more important. You know, like according to the future plans of what I have in mind, like if my back is fucked, how could I tattoo? So I try to try to slow down a little bit what actually really good because this shop helps me uh, to do that. So I could imagine my whole life doing tattoos, but I don't really want to stick to it 
Like only tattoos. Uh, two questions in my mind, and one of them half answered by you. Like making a career in three years, uh, does it uh, annoy you? The, the younger generation is coming quickly, and you will be forgotten. And the second question would be, just does it annoy you? Annoy you? Uh, you are going to burn out. Um. I'm going to lie if I say it doesn't annoy me that I'm going to burn out. Uh, it's more likely, you know, um, one option you could have if you keep pushing yourself super hard. Like, of course, it's an option forever that, yep, in the worst case, I'm going to burn out and I'm going to say, like, fuck it, I have to do something else. But, uh, Jolt. Uh, and I, we had a, several conversations about how to avoid, you know, like this this uh, possibility to burn out and not to be interested anymore in tattoos. And I think with good people around me, it's possible to to, you know, like keep your own interests up to to produce tattoos or to make tattoos. Produce is not the right word in this uh, term. <laughs> uh, the, the first question, it doesn't annoy me uh, until the attitude is good. I mean, if you think about it, I was a newcomer and a newbie when I started tattooing. So why should I be mad or take the chance from someone else who has just started uh, it's just not fair. I mean, I kind of hate that mentality like when you got something and you're sticking to it, you're hiding it, you don't want to share it at all. Like, it was like uh, I saw it on Facebook, of course, it was like two rules of success like, never share your strict secrets. And that was the two rules. <laughs> uh, and I, it was funny, but kind of true. Like, when you share something, you have to share it in a wise way. So being forgotten, everybody is afraid about, like everybody got this, you know, like like frightening uh, thought and, and think about it like, well, what if 10 years later, no one literally gives a shit about my stuff, but it's all up on you. Like it, it depends in the beginning how far you got or how far you push your stuff and how open-minded you are to try out new things even if you burn yourself no problem you could start it again but it, like I mentioned a couple of names and they are like literally for ages in the business and they are still respected so I don't want to put myself onto the same level obviously but I believe if, if you do it in a wise way, you're not going to be forgotten. You're just getting older, but if you do something right, that right thing kind of stay. I mean, this is like, you know, like a circle of stuff in life. Usually people are more obsessed with bad things, but if you think about it, the end conclusion is always about the right things. So if you do it right in your profession, I don't think that's gonna be even a chance that you you got forgotten. Like, yeah, hundred years later, like I couldn't mention a tattoo artist who was tattooing like hundred fifty years ago. Okay, couple of legendary ones, but we are talking about uh, a craft what is like fairly young. I mean, like young. Like it's a matter how how you uh, call it. So being forgotten. Yeah, of course. Everybody's afraid of that. It just, you know, it's up to you how you fight against it. <laughs> Can you imagine a uh, tattoo uh, as a university subject at an art university? University subject, what you actually learn or what is mentionable yeah, when we're talking about well, like you, general, general, you in Budapest, art in general. Budapest uh, Art University, you are going to be, the, for example, the first teacher of tattooing. Can you imagine it's going to happen in, in, 
Nope. Nope. What? Nope. Uh... <laughs> well... It's like, according to your question about the tattoo society over here, uh, for me, it's like, you know, art as a part of education, that's okay. It could be like mentionable in art books, like, like this tattoo artist put down the basics of blah, 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 something, because it goes hand in hand. But someone applying to a tattoo university or something, it's kind of surreal for me. I mean, <laughs> it sounds like I'm, uh, I try to defend the profession of tattooing, but it's still, I mean, already overwhelming. So coming up with like, um, how to say, like, like an actual university or like a subject, it's just pretty much not the same mentality what usually goes with tattoos. You know, when when you apply for an apprenticeship, it's a really, really weird and really fucked up example, but it's almost like having a Jedi and your Padawan. So having like a fucking Jedi and Padawan university, it sounds weird, right? And super stupid, of course, because of my stupid example, but but I, I cannot imagine, like, I, in most of the cases, the good tattooers who are still in uh, the, you know, like in the scene are, are who work their ass off. And I cannot imagine as a subject, like, yeah, I'm gonna skip the class where they show me how to set up the machine. You know what I mean? Like, it could be a university, but it's a university for your lifetime, like. You could learn the basics, but I, I cannot imagine like, oh, I don't know what to do with my life. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the tattoo university, so probably I'm gonna make super cool money. And this is what actually happens over here. They try to set up a school and they just fucking lie into your face. Like after a year, you're gonna be a tattooer, but that's not possible. That's, that's just nonsense. Like there's like this drawing teacher Telling that after two months you're gonna draw up portraits. And when you ask him, like, you're fucking kidding me, right? You learn it for like two, three years at the university, in the better case. I mean, like, just, you know, drawing up a human body. And if you do it, like, once in a correct way, you are super happy. And this guy just telling you, like, yeah, of course, no doubt. Then he, you know, like, provides a little information, like, probably not the best portrait drawer but you could you know like draw up a face kind of and being a tattooer is not a kind of thing you have to put every effort into it so I would rather keep it kind of underground what is cool than having this super 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 not casual or whatever but it's fashionable enough so having a university doesn't help it to <laughs> to make it underground.